Hello, this is Mike KD9 MED, and today I'm going to demonstrate the J38 uh, straight key. Uh, this is a key that was made by the Lionel Corporation, and this is the same uh, corporation, Lionel, that made the um, toy trains way back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Anyways, they had a wartime function back in the day, World War II, and they made the, uh, uh, the Morse code keys. Um, for the US Army so this is a J38 I don't know if you can see that in the video but it actually says J38 and if you were to flip this over on the bottom side you'd see this funny looking upside down seven looking character uh, symbol and that's the Lionel anyways uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to uh, call CQ I am not uh, horribly proficient in manual Morse code like this but uh, you'll get the idea here uh, so let me go ahead and try this So that's the standard CQ is called on uh, Morse code. Now what I can do is show you how to call uh, CQ on a iambic key. Okay, so this is called an iambic key. And um, the way it works is one side of the uh, key is going to be uh, dits and the other side of the key will be das and what's really nice about this key is that you can um, if you squeeze both paddles together you'll get a an oscillating uh, uh, mode between dits and das so here's the same call and you'll notice that there's uh, quite a difference in speed in calling CQ uh, with the uh, iambic key and let me go ahead and make just a little bit of room here Let's see put this right over here There we go. All right, and here we go All right. And you can see that the iambic is way faster <laughs> than a straight key, but that's how it's done if you ever want to know how uh, CQ is being called on Morse code. KD9 MED, 73s.